and today we're going to make cilantro sunflower dip. The first step in this is taking the sunflower seeds and rinsing them off, washing them, and soaking them in water. Uh, for anywhere from two to six hours is fine, so you could leave them overnight if that works best for your day. Um, and then once you've soaked them for at least two hours, you pour them into a strainer and you leave the strainer over a dish so that the water doesn't get all over the place. Um, and you let them sprout. So you'll start to see that just like a little, little teeny tip starts to come out of the bottom of the sunflower seeds and then you'll know that they're sprouted and ready to go. So now you have all your ingredients together and we're gonna start by putting the sunflower seeds at the bottom. Um, somehow that makes Easiest. for the blending situation. And then literally I'm gonna take the washed cilantro and I'm just gonna put all of it without cutting it or anything on top of the sunflower seeds. Um, and then I have the garlic and the scallions, um, the tamari, and the lemon juice, and finally the tahini. It is sometimes a little messy. Um, and I have made this without the tahini before and it's still really good. I just happen to have it today, but sometimes I don't always have it. Um, and then this is where you get to test the Vitamix. So you're gonna put the top on and you'll see that it doesn't have the plastic thing. I've taken that off. And I have this thing which came with your Vitamix and I'm gonna sort of stick it into the top and just so you know, this thing is the right length so that it will never hit the blade. Um, and I'm gonna start it at low and turn it on. All right, and eventually it becomes a very smooth consistency. And if you have, if you're making this in a Vitamix, which I highly recommend. I think you can also make it in a Cuisinart and it will just be a little bit, um, it will not be quite as smooth. Um, but you'll see in the Vitamix actually makes it sort of warm. That doesn't look great on camera. <laughs> um, and it's really good. And now you can use it to wrap in collards. The cilantro sunflower dip is great for just dipping plain vegetables in or dipping in your favorite gluten-free crackers, but it is also great to make roll-ups with, um, which is a really fun thing to do either if you're going to a potluck or it's something that kids embrace and will actually eat lots of vegetables with. So I was gonna show you how to wrap it in collard greens, which is one of my favorite alternatives to bread. Um, so this is a collard green. And I literally just take my kitchen scissors and cut um, the leaf. I cut the leaf into about four parts. So this is half the leaf. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to cut out the stem from the middle. Um, these scissors are very sharp for small hands. But if you had the right scissors, kids could probably do that part too. But as you'll see, I end up with pieces that are about sort of the size of my palm. So I'm going to use this one. And in it, I am going to put a little bit of our dip, which I'm just going to spread out in the middle. Um, and I'm going to put some carrots. I'm going to actually use the vegetables to spread the dip out a little bit more. Um, and then I'm just going to roll it. But just this itself is just a great taco that anybody could eat that's filled with the dip and vegetables. Are you a busy mom? Are you sick of low energy, the extra pounds, feeling more like a taxi cab driver than a wife or mom, toddlers who have tantrums, kids who can't sit still, high dentist bills, seasonal allergies, colds that go from child to child to mom to dad and back to child? 
What if the answer to all these issues was changing how you eat? Would you try it for seven days? Sign up at staybasic.com slash seven days.